In this video, you're going to learn how to solve systems of linear equations in two variables using the substitution method. We're going to go through two examples. And the first thing you want to do is you want to look at your variables and you want to solve for one of the variables. You either want to find out what x equals or what y equals. Once you know what that quantity equals, you can put it in the other equation to get one equation with one variable. So I'll show you in the first example. The first example is a little bit easier because you see how we know what x equals? We already have x by itself. x equals four plus y. All we have to do is put that in place of x and we're gonna get one equation that just has y's in it. Now notice when I did that substitution, I put, instead of x, I put what x equals four plus y, but you wanna put it in parentheses. You wanna treat it as a group. Now we just have one variable. We're going to go ahead and solve for y. So that gives us 8 plus 2y minus y equals 7. Uh, 2y minus y is 1y. Bring down the 8. Subtract 8 from both sides of the equation. And you can see that y is equal to negative 1. Now you can take the negative 1 and you can put it back in for this y or this y. Either one, it doesn't matter. You're going to get the same answer when you solve for x. But this one's going to be a little bit easier since we already have x by itself. So let's go ahead and put negative one in for y. Four plus negative one is three. So now we know x equals three. And we can write this as a coordinate pair, three comma negative one. So what this means is if we were to graph these two lines, the point where they intersect is gonna be three negative one. Okay, example number two is a little bit more challenging because it wasn't like this one where we already knew what one of the variables equaled. We have x equals. Over here, you have to decide, should I solve for this x and find out what x equals, or should I solve for this y and find out what y equals, or this x or this y? Well, in this particular problem, it's gonna be easier to solve for this y because you only have one y, so you won't have to divide. So all we're gonna do is we're just gonna subtract three x from both sides of the equation. So now we get y equals negative one minus three x. And so that was for the second equation. So now we know what y equals. Let's go ahead and put it in for y in the equation that we haven't used yet, the first equation. So we have 5x plus two times. Now instead of y, I'm gonna put what y equals, negative one minus three x equals negative one. And again, remember when you do that substitution, put it in parentheses so you can treat it as a group. So now what we wanna do is we wanna distribute the two and that's gonna give us negative two minus 6x, bring down the 5x, combine like terms, 5x and negative 6x is negative 1x, add 2 to both sides, and we get negative 1x is equal to 1, divide both sides by negative 1, and you can see x equals negative 1. Now if we take negative 1, we can put it back in for x here, or here, or here. I'm going to do this one because we already have y by itself. So we're going to put negative 1 right back in there, so that's gonna give us y equals negative one minus three times negative one. Uh, negative three times negative one is positive three. And so then y is equal to two. And so when we write our final answer, we wanna write it as a coordinate pair, x comma y, or in this case, negative one comma two. Now, if you wanna check your answer, you can always put negative one and two in for x and y and see if it equals negative one. Same thing here, make sure it equals this value. Make sure it makes both equations true. Now, the next thing you wanna learn is how to solve systems using the elimination method. Follow me over to that video right there where we dive into elimination. 